This tutorial was inspired by the official Cricut Circle blog entry from December 26th featuring a New Year's Eve party favor box from the Three Birds Life's a Party cartridge. The box I'll be folding you can find on page 69 of the booklet and it's called the favor box. The booklet shows this box uh, folded like this with the curly ridges facing away from the box and you tie it with bows or you tape it down and there are a couple video tutorials that show you how to fold it this way. I'm going to show you how to fold it the other way with the curly ridges facing the box just like they show in the blog entry. There are two nice things about this particular kind of box. First, if you use double-sided paper you'll get a nice two-tone effect here. Second, the box stays closed without needing any tape or ribbon or anything. The template Cricut provided um, uses an expressions, but you can still cut it on the personal electronic cutter or the create. You'll just need to tweak it a little. I cut this particular box at a width of five and a quarter inches and let the length take care of itself automatically. I designed it in Cricut Craft Room so that I could make uh, the box cut portrait. Otherwise, it will cut landscape and it'll be too small for you to fold. Now, the Cricut puts little tick or guide marks in the box, but they're hard to see, so I've made marks that I hope make them easier to see. If you've purchased the Cricut tools, then you can use the folding bone that comes with it to score everything. However, that doesn't show up on camera, therefore I'm going to use this ink pen to score the paper. I don't have a scoring board, so I'm going to use this vintage, meaning old, uh, guillotine cutting board because it actually has scoring ridges in the board right here, which is really nice. So if you have a scoring board or something like what I have, then the good thing to do is just line them up with the, the ruled lines and use that as your guide. If you don't have that, then you'll want to use a ruler because you'll want these lines to be straight. If you don't have the folding bone with this scoring tip, uh, again, you can use something similar like a pen or a pencil or something that has a similar shape but don't push too hard if you use a pen or a pencil or you'll poke right through the paper. You'll want to score these tabs at the end diagonally you still can use the ridges in the score, scoring board um, the same as you did the lines but you kinda have to do it by sight and then do little ticks on each side to make sure it's coming it's going to score it straight and you can't use the backboard on the scoring board for these particular things but I found that these actually line up pretty nicely <laughs> Okay, I want my paper, my uh, top, to fold the other direction, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to score it from this side. Now you don't have to score the box, but it really helps with the folding. When you finish the main lines, what you should have is you should have four lines lengthwise, one, two, three, and then on this side, four. Normally it would be on this side, four. And then you should have four widthwise, one, two, three, four. And normally if you were folding it with the uh, to make the box look like this, you would have the lines go all the way. To make this easiest for folding, the first thing you want to do is fold down the top of the box before you start any other folding. It will most likely stay folded the way you want it to, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to actually paper clip it with some coated clips to make sure that it stays in place. Next, you'll want to fold these tabs that have the li these little triangles on them. 
I colored them so you can see them better. They don't normally look like this. You'll want to stick them down with tape runner, glue dots, or tape. Liquid glue won't do because you want the bond to be quick, stable, and reinforced. The entire tab will now look like a triangle. I've also colored those so that you can see that. Next, you'll take the tabs next to the, tri the triangle tabs and you attach them to the triangle. You'll line up this end of the triangle with this scoring mark here. They uh, line up perfectly. Um, use whatever adhesive you want to attach them. So you can see the, how the scoring line is in perfect line with the triangle. And what you get is something that looks like this. I'll make, I like to make sure these are secure when I attach the bottom of the box. So I'm going to add a little tape to the bottom of these tabs, but you don't necessarily need to do that. And what you're going to do is then you're going to just slide these tabs here and here. You just slide them underneath each other. Just like that. You shouldn't have any difficulty doing that. So when you look at the bottom of the box it will look like four triangles. That's how you know that you've done it right. Next what you're going to do is you're going to attach this tab to the inside of the box with tape or glue dot. Once you attach that tab, then you have the bottom of your box finished. The paper clipping worked, so I now have all of these facing toward the box like I want them to. Traditionally, the straight lines of this box uh, fit and the groove parts actually fold into each other and then you attach them with either tape or a ribbon. Uh, it still works with this alternate folding method. You're going to attach this little tab right here to the inside of this ridge right here. Now you're ready to fill your box with treats. This actually works almost like a funnel um, when it's pushed down a little. Uh, so it'll actually help you get the treats in. Now you'll want to gently push it down, very gently working in the corner edges, um, especially where this tab was. Once that's done, you've got your little party box that keeps itself closed instead of having to use ribbons or tape. If your party guest wants to open this box, all they have to do is gently pull up and then they can take out the treats. When you first put this box together, uh, there is a chance that your box will look like this with the top ridges out. Um, hopefully your previous scoring will work and the ridges will automatically be folded in the right direction, but if they aren't, all you need to do is just gently fold this over. So what we're going to do is we're going to gently fold all of this so that this top portion, see you don't want to tear it, this top portion is facing out just like that so that the curved ridges are facing toward the box. So that's what we're doing. We're just gent we just gently folded that over. It's not that hard. It doesn't require that much persuasion. Now you want to take this tab right here and attach it to the edge of the grooves here. It should just fit just like so. And then it's the same process as before where you push the box 
down. Well, I hope this tutorial was useful and helpful to you and I hope you have fun making these little favor boxes.